So we're in San Diego at OFC 2018. I'm here with Danielle from Juniper. Danielle, good to see you. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Okay, so um, you're here at an optical show, and Juniper is probably better known for its uh, packet technologies, but also has optical technology showing off here. But what's the what's the message that Juniper's giving out here about you know, the evolution of metro networks? Yeah, very interesting question. Thank you for asking that. Yeah, so one of the things with Juniper, and this kind of culminated when we introduced some of the programmable optics last October, we worked with Lamentum, have a white box optical solution, and we know that the Metro needs a strong foundation, and that strong foundation is gonna be the optical layer. We believe that optical layer needs to be open and disaggregated and be more SDN controlled, and that was kind of the the, tra the trailer, the teaser trailer into what we're doing with Metro. Now here today, what we're ta really talking about is the elements of the infrastructure being more agile, that's leveraging that, that the capabilities that we have with the open optical disaggregated line system. But then also more importantly, like the software really needs to be more adaptive, ultimately self-driving. This, These two worlds need to come together in a holistic way. And it's all about transforming the Metro for more just transport focus to more service rich delivery mechanism focus. So this is kind of what we're showcasing here today and talking about. Okay, so you've got some demonstrations here on the on the Juniper stand. So what exactly are you showing off to people that are coming and visiting you here? Yeah, so we, Juniper, we're, we're definitely known for our packet heritage, but we are showcasing, like I just mentioned, this is the first show where we're actually having the TCX 1000. That is our white box Rotom, so that's one element that we're showing. We're actually showcasing the SDN control of that. So we've actually taken the control plane, some of those control loops, put it into the SDN controller, and we're actually demonstrating that over here to the left of me, the ProNex optical director. And so we're showcasing that. So the building upon that topology, there's a couple, three new products that we announced. There is a PTX 10002, and this is a scaling out kind of architecture that we see happening in the Metro. A lot of carry hotels and interchange providers looking to do more spine leaf. So we built a 60 by 100 gig platform for that. We see Metro all about being 100 gig moving into the access. So we have an ACX 5448 that is cost optimized for 100 gig access. And what is kind of becoming the star of the show is this ACX 6360. And this is a layer one um, 16 by 100 gig device into two or eight, 200 gigs, all secure with uh, MacSec 256 encryption. But once again, like you just mentioned, we do have a packet heritage. So with a very simple adding of a software uh, license, you can actually upgrade this to a full layer three routing device. So we've actually merged in a very efficient way these two worlds together. And a lot of people we talk to, analysts and customers are really excited about this. One of the main reasons they're excited about this is that we are now no longer having to sacrifice capacity when you merge these two worlds together. That was a huge issue when this industry first introduced the idea of IP over DWDM, that's been eliminated. You now can get all the same three terabits of capacity with an optical layer or routing, so you don't have to make any choices. It's very versatile. This is how we're making the infrastructure more agile. Okay, so there's a lot more capacity going into the networks to cope with the massive growth in traffic that's already with us from deeper fire fiber penetration, cloud services, uh, 4G, but we're obviously entering a world where there's going to be even more traffic on the networks and there's going to be e a need for even more capacity, but also a world where it's going to be impossible for the current state of operations, manual operations, to continue. So what's Juniper doing around enabling uh, zero touch provisioning and, and general automation of processes? Yeah. Very interesting question. So this is all about, first and foremost, you have to remove complexity out of the physical infrastructure. You have to get to a place where, and we've, we've experienced at the routing layer, you can take a router, plug it into any other router, and they typically work together. 
you have to extend that to the optical layer. So you, this needs to become less complex. So with that, once you've done that and made it less complex, we also believe in that the network needs to ultimately be self-driving. There's kind of five fundamental things that we are driving to from a technology standpoint to make it self-driving. There is automation tooling that's on and off box. That could be scripting, that could be SDN controllers, but that needs to be in a small, consumable, micro-segment kind of environment that's more cloud-native. You need to have telemetry, so you have greater visibility into all layers of the network, what they're doing. And so what we're trying to do is, if you can merge these worlds together, the telemetry can also be merged together. <clears throat> we also have things like um, multimodal view, so you want to be able to have very small domain views of things and very macro domains of things and be able to have events across those. The way that we interact with network today in terms of automation is really graphical user face, but maybe things need to be more voice user interface, right. more intense. Hey, us as human beings don't necessarily think like machines. How can we make things a little bit more in intent based? And then last but not least, which is in my humble opinion, the machine learning. The machine learning is, we hear a lot about it, but we need the machines to assist us in making network, in eliminate these workflows, ultimately becoming self-driving. And so these are the five foundational elements that we're doing, and we have products that hit each one of those marks as part of our whole vision of what this metro should do and even what networks should do. Okay. Excellent. I mean, there's, there's always a lot of talk about next generation networks, but it sounds like you're hitting the mark to create those actual next generation networks. So yeah. thanks very much for speaking to us today oh, and uh, have a great much. show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much.